echo your sentiments and likewise enjoy working with you, particularly on this program and, and with our colleagues from Arkansas and Texas as well. And uh, let me just say, uh, on, and I do have some questions later on, and so I'll be brief. I wanted to share with you an anecdote that I think will make you feel pretty good and also gives us an insight into the opportunity we have here. During the August recess, just at, as we finished here in early August, I kind of one of the things I did for vacation is we rented a car here in Washington and we drove home. And as we were driving home, we went down 95 into Florida. We spent a day at the Kennedy Space Center where we got to visit and watch some of the things they put on there for visitors. And I hadn't been there since I was eight years old. My parents took me there for my eighth birthday. Suffice it to say, a lot has changed, but my kids have never been there. And, uh, and, and, and um, they left there, especially my 11-year-old left there uh, very inspired by what America has accomplished in the past in the space program. I'll never forget there's a line it's from President Kennedy. It's actually his actual voice where he justifies America's space ambitions. And he uses the example of, you know, someone who emerged from a cave thousands of years ago and said, why do we go to space? The same reason why people wondered what was on the other side of that mountain. And of course, a lot of human progress came as a result of that. And the America's space program has been a leader in that regard. And as we were leaving there, we watched a film about the, the, the lunar, the first lunar landing. And my 11-year-old daughter turned to me and asked me, why don't we go to the moon anymore? Which is not just a specific question, but in general, I think the question that younger Americans have is, why, aren't, why don't we do great things anymore? And I think we do great things. I think it's important that we remind them of the things we've accomplished and all the things that are going on in the unmanned um, programs as we build towards manned capability once again. But I really think the space program is indicative of everything that's ph phenomenal about America. We're a nation of dreamers. We're a nation of people that are intellectually and scientifically curious. Uh, I don't think I need to justify or outline to the members of this committee all of the commercial, scientific, military, and economic uh, progress that has come as a result of our space program. But if you want a way to inspire young people in America to go to science, math, and technology, you know, and the space program probably can do that better than any other national endeavor that we have. Just a few moments ago, I had a meeting with the First Lady of El Salvador. And as she was departing, she picked up her iPhone or her Blackberry and showed me pictures of her four-year-old son. And you'll never believe what her son had on the table. He had a rocket that said USA on it. That's a little model rocket. Uh, this is the first son in El Salvador, a four-year-old. And I asked her, what does he want to be when he grows up? She says he wants to be an astronaut. And that is what the America's Space Program has meant to our role in world leadership, is that there's a four-year-old boy in El Salvador, the first son, the son of the president, who wants to be an astronaut. And he's inspired by America's space program. There's no replacement for our country in the world. There's a lot of great nations that are emerging, but there's nothing out there that can take our place. And nothing is more indicative of that than our space program. So obviously, we recognize the challenges we face, but also the extraordinary opportunities. And I want to thank you and everyone at NASA for the hard work you do. And I hope that during my six years here in the Senate, or I guess five years and two months now that I've you know, run out the clock on 10 months up here, that I'll have an opportunity to watch as America's space program uh, remains the leader in the 21st century. So thank you.